Hi everyone, I'm Aviat Cohen at AV Master, and today we have Glenn Wastin at Avocor. Glenn is the VP EMEA at Avocor. How are you, Glenn? Correct. Thank you. I'm doing really well. I hope you do too. I'm great. And today we are looking at uh, directly at a uh, shared presentation by Avocor. What are we looking? Uh, what are we uh, looking at, Glenn? Well, I'm using. I'm at home. Everybody's at home, so I'm working home office from my laptop connected to my WCD screen, which is a team certified screen. And I'm using this to more interactively being able to present data in line with the questions that you might have. When it comes up, I can share something with you. So my first question would be, what does the solution look like? And I'm, I think we're seeing it right here on the board. So if you could just elaborate a little bit. Yeah, that would be great. maybe but for me, I mean, we, Avocor is supplying what I call the best interactive screen in the market, but the solution is more than just a screen. Now, if I may show this, when, when I look at, at solutions, there's different ways of creating a solution. And what makes Avocor stand out from the rest of the competition is that we have three key assets that lead to different solutions. And that's very important because every customer has its own opinion of what the solution should be. And for us, the three key elements is an open architecture, focus on innovation of that technology and an ecosystem of partners because many of the customers already have a preferred compute provider. They already have a preferred camera. They have a preferred audiovisual component. So many of the great things that we can offer is our ability of creating certified solutions with a whole range of market leaders in the meeting room space. And as you see, Teams is one of those uh, solutions. Now, if you look at the solution around Teams, there's really three different ways you can look at the solution for a customer perspective. The first one is what they call the MTR, the Microsoft Teams room. Customers that choose for the MTR, they want a simple to use, standardized way of doing unified collaboration. It's one application, one box, and whether it's a touch or a no touch, and whether it's a huddle room or a boardroom, it's the same user interface. That's the mentality. And connecting an MTR to an Avoco screen is possible and makes it happen. The second kind of mentality is the bring your own device or bring your own meeting or bring your corporate meeting, whatever. Those customers are looking for a solution in the mindset that every employee is already enabled. They have a compute, it's checked by IT, it's secure, they have all their data, it has their emails. So why add more complexity? And the solution there is taking a USB-C cable, connecting your laptop to your screen as I'm doing now, and everybody can work at any given moment. And the third solution is the PC in the room. And basically you add a OPS, or a tiny PC to the screen, because those, those IT departments, they want every room to have an identity. They want people, they wanna make a, a sign on the wall, there's a calendar for the screen, there's a software on the screen, a Microsoft entity, and people can walk up to the room and start creating content, and they can log into their own account. So those are three solutions, depending on the customer that you can support, all with the Avocor screens. Because we are an open infrastructure, we basically follow the lead of the customer. So what you're doing is actually, you're, using, you're uh, a uh, sophisticated sandbox for the customer, meaning you could uh, execute any type of uh, configuration that you'd like. We just add the touch capability and yeah. a uh, streamlined way of working. Yeah. There's, there's two ways of companies. On the one hand, there's the companies, typically big American companies. You say, it's my way or the highway, right? You, you follow my solution. And if it doesn't fit my product, too bad. We're the opposite. We're customer-centric, focus on innovation. Say, okay, what does the customer want? And we have to make sure that our product fits in those scenarios. And so we have more customer satisfaction because of that. So what would the Avocore WCD, which is the Windows collaboration uh, display yeah. include? Okay, so let's look at the display itself um, because of course there is a, a specific screen that fits that bill. 
Now, uh, one of the key elements that, uh, that specifies around Teams certification. Let's start with that. Why is it Teams certified? That has really to do with the audiovisual component and the speaker, uh, the speaker microphone and camera. Microsoft, Microsoft has certified that this, these components meet their requirements for a specific room. And the room size or the room that they are defining is the focus room. And typically that's a room for four to six people and let's say a five by five meter environment. The typical standard meeting room of which I would guess 50, 60% of any enterprise meets that spec. And so the benefit is that this is a one box fits all that you can put against the wall, ethernet and power, and you have a team certified solution on the wall. The second thing that is part of this solution is the 4K touch screen, right? The touch interaction, which is really best in class. It's based on in glass from FlatFrog. Uh, we have chosen this technology because it's a passive pen, which makes it very robust. You can, the batteries can die. If you lose one, it's easy to replace. But it also gives us a lot of flexibility on whether you want to use the, the, the back of your palm to erase, whether you want to use your finger to move the content, or whether you want to just use the tip of the, of the pen to start writing. Um, the fourth component, which is really critical, is something, I mean, not a lot of screens have, and we were the first to come out with them, which is the IoT sensors. IoT sensors for light, for temperature, and presence. And these sensors are making the screen an asset in your meeting room. A lot of people are thinking about uh, optimizing the use of their space, optimizing their investment. And those sensors allow people that have an IoT strategy to really using the screen as a source of data that can be linked to their Azure cloud because we are also Azure certified for those sensors, right? So that's an extra benefit. And then finally, I think the last two actually work hand in hand is the USB-C cable and the smart switching. Now the USB-C cabling is really um, a great asset to uh, the technology for ease of use. It is not a standard yet. There's different types of USB-C and different levels of complexity. But as we are focused on innovation, our focus has been on the highest end as we are as a product leader. And so we are supporting every kind of tech sig signal that can come to that USB-C cable, whether it's power or ethernet or touch or image or the audiovisual component. So through my simple USB-C at home, I have my laptop and one cable gets me everything on the screen. The, the benefit of the, the smart switching is that if I'm, coming, if I'm coming into a room and I connect the cable, the screen automatically knows there's a source and it will switch all the audiovisual touch image and, and uh, camera to that laptop. It will collaborate together. If I disconnect my, my cable, it goes back to the previous source, which might be an MTR, it might be a PC, but that means the ease of use for the customer, it's connecting a cable. You don't have to have a remote, start switching the source of try to find an eight, two cables or click in a dongle, it's one cable, very easy. So the, US, the, the WCD is more than just a piece of hardware. It's more than, it's more than just a screen. It really solves a lot of problems that are included to make it easy for the customer. So basically, if I have a docking station, I'll take my laptop, get in the conference room, see, meet the same type C cable connected to my laptop. So what you're saying is going back to the office should be made easier for the user. Absolutely. Use that same type C. You don't, you don't need any installation. You need nothing. Just connect yeah. it will work which brings me to the, my next question how long would it take to install an avocore uh, avocore wcd yeah yeah well as i as i refer to as an out of the box experience it is ethernet and power it really depends how fast you can work right if you have a stand <laughs> in the room or you have a bracket on the wall it's opening the box hanging it on and plug it in the wall so 15 minutes and you should be up and running 
you mentioned uh, five by five, five meter by five meter rooms, which means yep. uh, what screen size would it require? Yeah, that's a good point. So first of all, let's go on, on, the, on the five by five. If you look at the company, indeed 50 to 60% is gonna be in that five by five range. Now, before I go into the, uh, the, the, the question, the interesting part that we have as a, as a company is that the technology of the WCD is exactly the same as our F-series product that's also in glass. The benefit of that is that because it doesn't have a camera included, you can create your own solution with a Logitech uh, Meetup or Rally Plus, but for whether it's an auditorium or it is a boardroom or it is an aula or it is a customer experience center, you really can create the same interface in any room. But with the WCD, oh, with the WCD, you really have a single opportunity to, to make it easy in the bulk of the screen. One point, I lost my pen. It's okay. So Glenn, I'm gonna take this moment to ask. So basically with the WCD, you get everything included, meaning the microphones are built in, you get the IoT sensors in yes. uh, yep. speakers, speakers, of course, uh, and the entire type C functionality. And I, as I understand, it also serves as a hub, USB hub to which you could connect various right. uh, enhancements if you don't find uh, yeah. and, and, provided. And different yeah, different cameras. For instance, now when I'm presenting one-to-one, -one, I like to use my, my laptop as my video channel while my screen is my content channel. But I also have a, a, an HD Pro connected if I want a little bit more space. If I'm with a group of people, I use the camera in the screen and then I have a meeting room uh, perspective. So you can use different microphones, different cameras and select them in your setup. Okay. That's, that's pretty awesome. So next question would be, what features ease of, and ease of use does the WCD actually lean? We'll focus on the WCD this, this yeah. time, but what, yeah. what features and ease of use does it offer? Yeah. Well, m maybe let's, let's answer in, in two points. Um, I mean, who is it for as far as the type of company that we're making? But then, and then let's say the ease of use for that company. I mean, it's obvious that any company that is working on Teams or as a larger extent on Skype for business because that's going to go end of life in the future migrating to Teams. But as a whole, any, micro, any company that's working on Microsoft as a whole has a benefit of working with the WCD. Now, who is it for? Really, there's different, different kind of types of customers or different roles in a company. And I think every... Um, every person has a different benefit. So I wanna talk about a couple of things because we're not only talking to the users, but also to the, to the IT and finance departments. Uh, if you look at the users, I think for them, the key is, as I said, ease of use, whether you choose bring your own device and it's a USB-C cable or the company has chosen for an MTR, it's really a one button start, it's easy. The second thing, it's because it's an existing recognized user interface, you do not have to learn anything. Whatever I'm doing on my screen today, whether I wanna open a PowerPoint, for instance, um, and I wanna stop because most people still present uh, with PowerPoint, I can easily uh, bring in a PowerPoint presentation. And if I would wanna do that, I can start writing in, in, in my PowerPoint presentation. I can go to Google, I can use videos, I can use Word. Anything that I'm familiar with automatically is used on the screen. So ease of use, recognized, and hence quick adoption. That's really critical. When I look at IT, at the IT managers, it's really important because for them, there is no risk. The biggest, is, the biggest hurdle to making new innovation is what if I make the wrong decision? Now, in the 80s or the 70s, people always said you cannot get fired to buying IBM. Well, today you cannot get fired for buying the only certified screen, team certified screen in the world, because there's only one and it has Microsoft's approval. So if you're a Teams or Skype or Microsoft company, there is no risk in, in, in getting this product in there. And extra of that is that because we're using the existing infrastructure, existing Microsoft 365, existing Teams accounts, uh, it's a lot easier to deploy. 
And because it's easy for the end users, you also don't get that many support calls. So it's more efficient on your organization. And then finally, maybe on, on finance, I'm using here the resellers, I'm gonna not talk about that, but I wanna talk about the finance department because they sign off on the procurement. I think that's really important on return on investment. The, the importance of investing in a technology and making sure it works. And there's two, two ways of looking at that. The number one is the ROI of interactivity. Activity. Because interactivity in a digital virtual collaboration space has some real benefits. And we've done a lot of research for that. Number one is higher engagement. If people work together and the story evolves and people can through Office 65, they can add content, they can add annotations, people engage more, which means that the decision or the decision of the meeting is shared amongst more people. There's a better coverage of the outcome of the meeting. The second one is that a research has shown through a very well-known US uh, pharmaceutical company that if you interact with content and you participate, that you remember more and longer, so the retention is better from a meeting. So if you're investing so many hours of meeting time, you want to get the most out of the meeting. If I'm investing my, my time and my people in meeting rooms, I want to make sure that the message is across so the efficiency of the meeting increases. And then finally, also the ability of, of being able to zoom in and zoom out and taking different perspectives at any given time allows the participants to getting a better understanding of complex issues. So the quality of the meeting, the quality of the solution is better. And then of course, finally, when we're really talking about not only the return, but about the investments, when you consider things, and that's a, a conversation I'm having with, with many customers at this point, if you're looking at it's a, it's a difficult times, we're saving money. I understand nothing is, is, is that is, is at this point, not every company can invest heavily in this technology. My advice is the following. The, the, the cost of the screen is less than 5% of the cost of your meeting room. If you think about the table, if you think about the, 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 the lighting, the, the, the infrastructure, the rent of your space, it would be a waste of space if you don't put in the best technology, as I explained, that provides you all the benefits. Um, and secondly, uh, the, the, uh, the return of that investment, as I said, it really makes it for a finance guy to really be able to sign off quickly. And I think those elements show what really the benefits are, not only of the WCD, but of interactivity as a whole. If look, if people are saying, hey, we want to just upgrade the, we want to make a room uh, UC capable, and we already have a touch screen, I understand you can add a Teams room and move forward. In that case, the screen will be changed later on. But if today you are considering to really upgrade the room, everything, it doesn't make any sense to me that you would put still in or that you would still put in a no touch screen. It's like saying, okay, we're going to take a new phone. I'm going to buy an iPhone 6. Yeah, it'll still work. But if you know that Zoom and Teams already are migrating to, to, uh, to interactivity with the whiteboard, if you know that that competition is only going to go further and faster, if you know that Microsoft's mindset is touch-enabled meeting rooms, then buying a no-touch screen will not only don't give, won't give you all the, the, the capabilities today, in the next six, nine, 12 months, you will, you will only get less and less return out of your screen. And so I would say if you have a new room or a refurb, pay the 10% more, 20% more on the screen and make it interactive. Uh, some great arguments actually make sense. Um, there's a huge strategy uh, battle going on in the market. Everybody's keen on getting back now with the vaccines coming in. Um, it really makes it a, little, a lot harder because it's a great offering in the market. And which leads me to, to the two final questions. Mm -hmm. How does this solution reflect on getting back to the office and what impact does it have in your, in, 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 uh, in your opinion? Mm -hmm. uh, second question would be, do you see more cooperations like this in the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good questions. Uh, <laughs> um, I think um, 
Yes and yes. Short answer. Yes and yes. Um, how does it impact the new hybrid? Well, first of all, we, we, we realized, I mean, there's a lot of research that has been shown that people now, the, 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 the digital transformation has happened overnight. People always said, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but now they didn't have a choice. And people are now fully digital enabled from home to a point where people say, yeah, I miss my colleagues. Yeah, I still want to see them, but I don't have to see them five days a week. Maybe I can work home for two days a week. So the new realization is that um, the new normal is going to be a mix of office and, and, and home. And so if that's true, your new meeting spaces in the office need to be all enabled to work with the people that are not there. That is just the fact. You will very rarely have meetings that everybody's in the office. So if you do not equip your meeting rooms, you will always be at a disadvantage. That's number one. Now, first of all, what's the benefit? I think one of the key elements is, is, is body language. I mean, we know when we're in front of a meeting room, um, if, I, if I'm face to face behind my laptop, that's one thing. But if I can, I mean, depending on the size of the room, of course, if I stand back and I can really express my story, if I can annotate, the quality, I mean, Moravians 738, 55 percentile, whether it's language and intonation and body, makes a big difference in how I deliver a story. I think that's one of the things that people need to remember, the quality of the communication. It's not just about what's on the slides. And so how do we bring people into the meeting and allow them to collaborate? I think that's really a very important element. The second thing is that we see a lot of people saying now, because they have to move quickly, uh, we want unified collaboration across the board. So we go from, from audio to video. And that's a great first step. We have to do that first. But as people get more and more experience, is what they realize is that without the content, it's very hard to make decisions. So the digital data is a very important part of the meeting. And so when I, always, I mean, I, I still believe the best meeting is still everybody around the table with all the, all the documents, all the data available. The Great. thing is, what is the second best? And this screen for me, because I work on this screen eight hours a day with all my colleagues, this screen is my digital table. I see my colleagues, I hear my colleagues, and we work together on the table. I can bring assets in, people can bring in post-its, they can bring their assets in. I can invite them on, on, the, on the Microsoft whiteboard and we can get people to collaborate with us and work across multiple regions. I can save this table and when I go to bed, my American colleagues can continue to work. So it's a, in the cloud, the table exists. So it's this virtual cloud-based meeting room that when we leave, my content is still there and the story evolves. And I think that's a very important part as far as the data. Um, and then I think the only thing that I would say is that um, for me, combining the data with the power of teams where everybody, everything is already there, the chat function, the email function, the, 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 the content in the, in, the, in the cloud, you can collaborate on, on, on PowerPoints and whiteboards, bringing that all together, the data, the teams, unified collaboration and the screen where it all meets. I think that's the benefit where today in the new normal, that's the way we can help get that done, right? And the second question, I will go back to, uh, I will go back to my, my ecosystem. Avocor is a core, the core strategy is realizing that we want to be the best at one piece of the puzzle or one solution within the meeting room space. That also means that we can only be successful if we play with the market leaders around us and we're already doing that the only thing i can say is that that's our strategy and i can guarantee that we will work further on the strategy to get more people smoothly certified and compatible solutions around our screens a lot of insights glenn this has been remarkable and actually the demonstration during an interview is something to take home um, I am familiar with Avocor for, I think, for the last three years now. Um, I love what you're doing and keep it up. The market is a happy place with players like yourselves. Wow. Glenn Wastin, I'd like to thank you very much for your time today. And I uh, really enjoyed the interview. Thank you. 
Thank you. And we will do some more follow-ups. Thank you very much. Bye, Aviat. Bye. Bye-bye.